What's up everyone? I just wanted to try out a new segment here. I'm thinking about calling it uh, Two Minute Tips and Tricks Tuesday or something along those lines. Basically just a, uh, a quick video once a week that we'll go through and kind of give uh, a quick tip for candle makers. Uh, hopefully advanced as well as beginner, but definitely more towards beginner. Uh, the first one that I'm gonna be doing today is wick holders. Now, when you're first starting out, everybody wants to save as much money as possible and put that money towards candles. And this is a very good way to do this. Wick holders can get expensive. These ones, I mean, at a dollar a piece, they're not expensive. But if you're gonna be pouring 100 candles at a time, that's $100 in wick tabs and that can get very expensive. So unless you know you're gonna be doing candle making for a long time, you're gonna to wanna to save as much money as possible and that's where we get into popsicle sticks. Now these can be picked up pretty much anywhere. Any arts and crafts store, Michaels, Amazon, Walmart, you can pick up a big box like this, which has 200 in here. You'll probably never go through this many even if you double these up for two, three, and four wicks maybe five, six bucks for this whole box. And then basically all you're gonna do is, what I did with these was I got out probably a good stack of them. I got out a big stack of these, stacked them up just like this, and then ran a drill straight through the middle of them. These things work really well. They hold really well. They'll cover a pretty wide container. And then if it does slide a little bit, you can fold the wick over from the top, tape it down, and then you can also tape these down on top of the container. Or on top of the container. If you're doing a three or four wick setup, or even a double wick setup, you can definitely expand these a little bit more too. You can kind of glue them together. This may be obvious for some people, but People just now getting into this, depending on the container that you're getting into it, uh, I've glued some of these together and you can see the three wicks. I hope that's zooming in there. You can line these up perfectly, especially for uh, the new Zen containers or uh, any container that's gonna have three or four wicks in it. You can set these up in a bunch of different ways to fit over the top and still properly place multiple wicks in a container. So like I said, it's a very quick two minute video. Uh, I don't even know what the timer is on this one. I don't know what the lighting is gonna look like. I'm just filming this. Uh, I thought about this last week and I figured it's Tuesday, might as well throw one up. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions or if I glossed over something, please ask them in the comments down below. And of course, as always, you can get in touch with me through the website, stanleyhandcrafted.com, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and then of course the DIY beginner group that's on Facebook, and I'll have a link in the video description down below. So give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you.